All right, hey everybody, Matt with the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. Thank you again for joining me. If you guys can, please visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Give me a follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. We have a lot of fun over there and post some deals and information and all that fun stuff that uh, this industry is all about. So let's talk about one of the favorite topics that I see, not on Instagram and also on Facebook too. But Sharpie signed baseballs. Now, I know when I say that, you're hardcore to the bone and also your Facebook troll is going to just go up in arms about a Sharpie baseball. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you got it signed in Sharpie. You know it's going to fade over time. And that's usually how the argument goes. And, and I don't even respond anymore. It's just not worth my time. But So we're going to talk a little bit about... A couple things. First off, why not get a baseball sign in Sharpie? And then on the flip side, maybe when is a good opportunity to get something, uh, a baseball signed in Sharpie? But first off, generally, let's talk about just to kind of clear the air. When you get an autographed baseball, you want to use a ballpoint pen, prefer preferably a blue ballpoint pen. There's a couple different reasons for that. Number one, it's going to uh, allow for the best chance for that baseball signature to fade the least amount of possible. I think I used like 17 adjectives in there, but basically it's the best pen so your baseball doesn't fade over time. Your autograph doesn't fade, okay? It allows for a nice, clean, crisp autograph. You can write inscriptions on it. It's just like when you go to school, you know, you write with a pen. You don't write with a Sharpie most of the time, okay? So that's why we use a blue ballpoint pen. If you want to go to my website underneath the blog, I actually go through different types of pens for uh, baseballs and also for other types of items. You guys can read that on your own time, but I will or I'll put a link here below for you as well. But that's some very good information for you on pens. OK, so first off, let's talk about why not get a baseball signed in Sharpie. And we're talking about officially Major League Baseballs here. Don't even waste your time buying those China balls signed in Sharpie. Those things are going to last you like two weeks. Okay, So we're talking about officially Major League Baseballs here. Number one, of course, they're going to fade over time. Uh, the signature kind of tends to bulk together because obviously the tip of the Sharpie is a lot thicker than a ballpoint pen. So you're not going to get as clean and crisp of an autograph as you would with a ballpoint pen. You can't really do inscriptions for that same reason. So if you wanted to get something personalized or you wanted to put some sort of statistic on there, it's really hard to do that with a Sharpie because, again, it's got that thicker point. Okay. So what would be some reasons to actually get an autographed baseball with a Sharpie pen on there? Ooh, I'm going to rattle some collectors there. But um, here's a couple of reasons, okay? And I think these are all kind of valid. Number one, it's an affordable price. Usually Sharpie baseballs, uh, they tend to sell a lot less than your standard uh, ballpoint pen. So if you're on a budget and you want to buy a nice gift for your son or, or whatnot, and you don't want to spend a ton of money, you know what? Get the Sharpie baseball. It's not a big deal, okay? They're, you know, your son, can when they get older and get their own job, they can upgrade that baseball if they want to do that. Uh, sometimes another reason would be is it's a hard-to-find autograph. Uh, I know, for example, I've seen like Barack Obama baseballs are signed in Sharpie. You've got uh, Bruce Springsteen. I've seen him sign Major League Baseballs in Sharpie. So if there's a particular autograph out there that you're looking for and you just can't find it on a you know baseball with a blue ballpoint pen, but you really want the autograph and Sharpie's the only one available, then hey, that might be your, your best option there, okay? Uh, another reason is maybe you're having a test project. You know, you're maybe you're like me and you want to test pens, and you uh, have one signed in Sharpie the same day, and someone signed in blue ballpoint pen, and then you check them back on them again in a year, and that way you can kind of see, hey, uh, you know, how are these uh, pens holding up here? I've heard really both stories on the Sharpie. I've had heard people say that I've had this ball signed for Sharpie in 10 years, and it hasn't changed one bit. And I've said people say I, I had to sign a year ago, and it's gone now. So. Um, it really depends on how you're ha actually having that ball handled. And what I mean by that is, again, same thing with, with blue ballpoint pens. You want to make sure you're keeping it out of sunlight, preferably in a UV protective case. But again, with autographs, sunlight is really the enemy. So uh, I hope that really helps clears up some things for you guys on the Sharpie baseballs. Uh, you know, someone like me, in my example, uh, you know, my position here, 
I, I sell Sharpie babes all the time because number one, they're actually a fairly good seller because of that price point there. So you know, if, if you're in the, the autograph business like me, you know, definitely be looking at Sharpie stuff to get signed. I've, you know, Trout signs baseballs and Sharpies all the time. Uh, Kershaw is another guy that signs in Sharpies. Uh, I've had Willie Mays ball sign in Sharpies before. Uh, I remember we actually did a Willie Mays signing, uh, gosh, 12 years or so ago. And, and the company I was with at the time, they actually had him do this on purpose, but they actually had him sign the baseballs in Sharpies. I think I've told this story before, but it, they were doing shadow boxes with them. And if you're not familiar with the shadow boxes, it's basically like a frame with the baseball that's actually glued to the backing there. And then it's got like an eight by 10 photo and a plaque with it. So you can't, the baseball's basically ruined, but it stays in this little shadow box there. And they had him sign them in Sharpies because the, the signature was uh, a lot bolder and whatnot. But of course that's the, the worst thing you could possibly do. So I just remember seeing Willie Mays sign like a hundred baseballs in Sharpies for whatever reason. So Anyway, that's just a fun, fun little story again on Willie Mays. I just did a little uh, podcast, too, in a, on a, my other funny Willie Mays story from when this guy brought this painting in, so make sure you guys check that out. So, Anyway, that's today's episode for you. Hopefully that clears up things for you on the Sharpie baseballs. If you guys got any questions, you know, let me know, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks again, guys.